I think I speak for pretty much everybody when I say we're tired of seeing it. It's played out. There is no reason why we should log on to social media and at the top part where it says stories, there's nothing but a bunch of naked women, half naked women, thongs, panties, short shorts, twerking and showing they ass. For what? What is y'all doing this for? Likes? Attention? Validation? And it's like, that's how we see women. Like, if you if you could show it to everybody, why is it special to me? What makes me want to... Uh, what, what makes me want to take yeah, it? Yeah, because you now now you're showing it to everybody, right? You know, now, you know what I mean. It just to me, it's 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 just weird how like y'all like you want to be naked on like out in the open, and it's just yeah. like what makes that? What makes you? Because now, if all the women, not all, if 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 most of the women when you go somewhere, if most of them are naked, what makes you special out in the naked bunch? Nothing. You know what I mean, so we have video number video number five, mm. yeah, and I'm ready. Okay, I say I say ready because I get ready. <laughs> yeah, look, that's what you got. You got to do all that. Oh I my god! That. And I give you about a good twenty five to <laughs> is it fifth? No, fifteen twenty five good pumps <laughs> before I'm ready to tap out. <laughs> I guess so. Doing all that, okay. wear yourself it all out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you gotta tap it out. You gotta wear her out too. Yeah, hey. you gotta do the usher. You gotta take it nice and slow. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, girl, where your rose at? Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look, I need to get me one of those. Whoa, oh Lord, have mercy. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna say that. Oh, Mr. Hot Javier over here. Once we set up the Patreon, we'll set up those episodes. Y'all got to pay for those. Yes, yeah. <laughs> definitely members <laughs> only. <laughs> definitely members <laughs> only. <laughs> All right, man. Video number five. So wait, but do I? I don't have it. Uh, damn, I thought I had it ready. Uh, here we go. Here we go. See, he said he was ready. He wasn't ready. Uh, just like most men, a lot. Shit! That's ice cold right there. <laughs> you yeah, mean hey. all men? Yeah. No. You said and, most men. You and, all and, men? I'm no longer and, and just like most women, y'all fell for it. <laughs> I ain't fall for shit. Intuition? <laughs> <laughs> Intuition? Your intuition what may tell you about that. <laughs> <laughs> See? Quick! They, they gaming up on me. <laughs> yeah, man. Come get them. That's your pocket. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Where you? The last video of the night. A woman says that the was it the Meg, Meg, the, Stallion, Meg Challenge. the Stallion Challenge is devaluating women, saying that it's tacky. We've seen y'all asses <laughs> in every angle, <laughs> and she ain't lying. Ain't that what y'all like? Seen it from the top, from the bottom, from the top to the bottom. It's in the silhouette. Now we here. <laughs> All right, wait. Oh yeah, we're peeing out that. Nothing is left to the imagination anymore. It's Mr. Podcast. Dad. Oh. Let's go. Y'all call it the Meg the Stallion Challenge, but to be honest, I think it's just yet another way for women to devalue themselves. And ladies, I'm not going to hold y'all. At this point, it's given tacky and it's given classless. I think I speak for pretty much everybody when I say we're tired of seeing it. It's played out. There is no reason why we should log on to social media and at the top part where it says stories, there's nothing but a bunch of naked women, half naked women, thongs, panties, short shorts, twerking and showing they ass. For what? What is y'all doing this for? Likes? Attention? Validation? If I'm not mistaken, y'all just did this a few months ago. Y'all had a whole challenge where y'all called it the ceiling challenge, where y'all was taping y'all phones to the ceiling and y'all was twerking upside down. We done seen y'all ass from every single angle possible. We get it. Then y'all say, oh, it's just the internet. It's not a real place. This is a real place. Y'all don't care how y'all perceive yourselves. Y'all don't care that y'all, what y'all look like. You know what this looks like? It looks classless and it looks tacky as hell. Some of these, most of y'all are moms. Y'all don't care what y'all kids think. Y'all don't care what y'all kids might look like. Y'all don't care about y'all image to them. Y'all talking about a challenge? Challenge yourself to be a better mom. Challenge yourself to be a better woman. Challenge yourself to be a better sister, a better auntie. Go challenge yourself to read a book. Challenge yourself in ways that's healthy for you. Y'all wanna keep getting up here selling yourself short for likes and attention for what? I'm not saying you gotta be a nun, baby. I show skin, I'm not a nun. I still have fun with my girls. I still be outside, I do all of that. But it's never been about what you do. It's how you do it. 
Man used to have to go to a strip club to see stuff like this. To fantasize about stuff like this. To desire women to move in certain ways like this. But now all they got to do, the whole world is a stage at this point. All they got to do is log on to social media and it's a million girls shaking their ass, doing all type of stuff, trying to outdo each other. Because who y'all doing it for? Oh, we ain't doing this for the man. Who you doing it for then? Y'all got to stop and think, man. Because it's not given what y'all think is given. It's given very low quality. No man of high quality, the man that y'all desire, the man that y'all swear y'all want, I promise you, he gonna treat you nothing like what you wanna be treated like because no man wants to see a woman up there or a woman up there that he looking at to pursue in a serious way, shaking her ass 24 seven on the internet like that. Y'all wanna be quick to say we're not doing it for the man, but baby, one day you gonna want a man and he not gonna want you. Because in 2024, you up there shaking your ass for likes and attention. It's not that deep, man. I don't know if y'all lacking a, a, some type of self-esteem or what, man. But y'all gonna have to pull back and reevaluate some stuff. It's not cute no more, y'all. It's played out. Stop. Please stop. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let me give it to her, man. Oh, okay, yeah, I mean, I, made one. I, 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 I I like her. I like her. I, she went viral a couple of times. Yeah, I've seen her a couple times. You know what I mean? And they call her pick me, man. Of you course, a pick, pick me. I pick her. I, <laughs> I, I big boy. With the first pick of the draft. The first CJ, pick of the draft. CJ takes you know her. <laughs> Nose Listen. picker number one. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I mean, I understand what she's saying. Like, as a man, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. When you see those in your algorithm, you like, oh god, damn. Like, yeah, it catches your eye, but yeah, like. After a while, I, you scroll right past. Or, it, or if I'm if I'm pursuing a woman, I don't want, I don't want her to, I don't want, I don't want her to be able to show everybody else something that, that's supposed to be you know sacred but, to me. Yeah. Like they yeah. always say, a key that can unlock any lock is a master key, but a lock that can be opened with any key is useless. So it's like mm -hmm. again, I, I I watched this video this um. This Muslim uh, guy, he said, you know why we, we, we uh, have our women garb up? He said, because when you think about the most precious things in the world, precious stones, precious gems, precious artifacts. He said, what are they? They're encased yeah. in some kind of glass or some kind of covering because they're so special. We don't want anybody to touch it. And it's like, that's how we see women. Like if you if you could show it to everybody, why is it special to me? What makes me want to? Uh, what, what makes me want to take yeah, it? Yeah, because you now you now you're showing it to everybody, right? You know, now, you know what I mean. It just to me is it's it's just weird how like y'all like you want to be naked on like out in the open, and it's just yeah. like what makes that? What makes you? Because now if all the women, not all, if 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 most of the women when you go somewhere, if most of them are naked, what makes you special out in the naked bunch? Nothing. It's not, now we looking saying? for the now we looking for the girl that's the opposite. Well, damn, the outfit she has on. If she had that on compared to the other stuff that other the other women are wearing, the panties she, and bras. She mean? gonna stand out because it's what like they damn, wear. it's panties and bras. You know, yeah. yeah. She got a little bit of cleavage, a little bit of stomach, some shoulders, nothing major. It's like it, it just is to me. I don't understand what the fascination of being naked. I understand being liberated. The and fascination comes from the, the, the attention that the they attention get that, from y'all yeah. men, and that's why they keep doing but it. But here's the thing: the attention is not the attention you really want, because if you know, it, it, but obviously they don't think so because the, the they get the attention, and maybe that's what they're seeking. Maybe that they they have this low confidence, and because they're getting all these likes and and all this attention and all these men in their inbox. Yeah, but how many how many men is trying to like hold them down? Yeah. Well, how you many know, men is trying to wife them? Like uh, no, the, no, major no, the majority, the majority, not that, not that many. Yeah, the majority of men want uh, yeah. want to smash you. Um, all of them basically. But it's like how many of them really want to take you serious and take you out of that yeah. that that environment that you in and, and make you the the woman and 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 give you your your wildest dreams and desire. Not well, too many men want to do that. Well, Tay, let me ask you what what generation do you think failed these youth? Because I know when when I was I young wouldn't. when I was I young it was you know you really had to put in some work. I don't to really it's, it's get a girl. So what generation? See, that's you the think? thing. It's it's all of them. It's not it's not just the younger generation. Because it's it's our generation I'm sorry, too. Are you, our, our generation saying is is ones that fell no, these youth. I, I don't think it's our generation. I think it's partly our generation, 
but I think it's just the invention of social media. Right. Where you can go, the social media allows anybody that has any type of mindset. So like the last video, the woman with the with the uh with the um sperm donor, she had that kind of mindset. She puts that out into the social media and guess what? People who have that same mindset will say, Oh, see, look, we got other people that agree with us and now they do it. Yeah. And so it's the same thing. You you uh I just seen a woman who was at her son's funeral with a small skirt on twerking mm. on the casket. What? You got to be kidding me. And again it's like that behavior yeah, she'll just be like, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. This, uh, you know, I'm doing it. And then somebody else will see it and be like, oh, damn, she was doing it. All right, cool, I'll do it. Yeah. And then it just becomes a snowball effect. So that's just where I think it is. You can go on social media and find your audience. The sad part about it is, is majority of these women, they'll sit there and say, oh, yeah, queen, yeah, queen. No, that's not how queens carry themselves. Well, I, listen, I could, t- I could tell you what, what really struck her. a nerve when she said, there's no need to go to a strip club because you can pull that up and down your feet and i'm like oh shit you know that is absolutely true i remember when i used to date and you know i meet a girl a girl would ask you do you go to a strip club i'm like no nah, I, I don't really mess with that like i stopped going to strip clubs years ago now strip clubs come to you yeah you know what i mean it's you, right there, it's you right there open up the, it's yeah, right there at your fingertips yo you go over instagram and you looking at booties and titties all you over, ain't even all gotta the open up instagram you could go out on a warm Friday night, w- wait until the summer hits and it's, you know, that first 80 degree Friday night. <laughs> Look, we ain't even got to wait till summer hits. <laughs> it was just warm yeah. recently and everybody was yeah, wearing you, their, their panties yeah, and bras. Yeah, you can see it. I remember being a young man and being like, you know, being a little creepy. Like, you see a girl, you're like, damn. I wonder what she looked like with them clothes off. And you just imagine it. It's nothing now, left to imagination imagine. anymore. It's I nothing see, left to the imagination. I can see your areolas. Like, oh, damn, okay. Nice big. Yeah. Girl. Okay, yeah, okay, girl. I see you got your super dollar pancakes out. <laughs> so like, literally, like, they wear <laughs> stockings. Yeah. Stockings yeah, you know I mean? is, is, is pair of pants. Yeah. Like, yeah it's like, it's ridiculous. It's, 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 it's,